Well, hello again out there in YouTube land. Hey, I've got something I'm uh, going to do today. I'm going to show you this big chunk of chunka. I've got a uh, quite a chick right here, but it don't go very deep. But you see the other side is real slick. So let's get started with that and uh, stick around. We'll see what it looks like. What I'm going to do here, I got my two strip about an inch wide, taped them together, or you make one big strip if you have it. But what I'm going to do is go around about the middle of the, the widest spot here, and I'm going to go over, overlap it tightly, and go around here and make a mark because we want to cut that paper the length of the circumference of your outer diameter there. Now I've got my mark, take the scissors, and I cut that right there. Okay. Now I fold this several times. Oops. So put me a nice crease in that right there. Fold it again. And again. Again. And one more time. Just like that. And you get squeezed together to make nice uh, nice folds or creases in that paper. And then I'll show you what we do with it. We'll unfold it and it leaves these evenly divided uh, sections. I want to go around here and hold it together while we we'll cut it. And that should It'll give you even divided spaces along there. And what you do now is just uh, go along and divide them right where the crease are. Now you want to get it right on the right on the dividing line, so the first one is on that first straight mark you got. Right there, and just go along, right up the, where the, where the crease that you made, and that's going to divide you into those equal parts. And you'll be able to see those. 
go around and be able to see them, see the folds in the paper. And I went about as far that way as I can go. So I'll go around here. Now, you want your about the center of each one of those. And you don't want to measure those, you want to just eyeball about the middle all the way around. There's a reason not to narrow them. It'll look more. You want it to look, you're making stays of a barrel. This is not exactly going to be a barrel, but but that's what you did. Now you have equally divided. Now you take your banjo and get it set up here. You have a Dremel tool out. You put it right in the radius of that Dremel. You want the <coughs> tool rest right on that so it can slide this way. And uh, that should do it. You want it kind of straight, parallel with your work. Now, all you do is, you see you've got your straight line there lined up. When you turn your Dremel on, it can just go straight across like so down to these lines. You don't want to go through those lines. And then you turn it to the next little mark and then just like you're holding your tool, go right along and make Make your line, that'll go straight along, and then your other one, and go right on around. Now let's do that, and uh, we'll see, see what happens. There you go, we've been all the way around it. So, uh, I think that's gonna do it for now. And uh, we're gonna get that sanded up and we're gonna cut it off and we're done with this phase of it, just about. Okay, I've got all the stuff together here and uh, got some wax paper down over the bed of the lathe so we can't uh, dribble on it and make a mess. A little regular denatured alcohol I'm going to put over that because it evaporates real quick and I'm going to rub it down really good to get all the dust off of the surface now. I blew it off but uh, that'll dry real quick on there. Then I'm also going to go around on the inside I get my hand in there and I'm going to rub it down inside good with my uh, alcohol soaked uh, paper towel. And I've got that just like that. We're done with that. Now I'll put the lid while that's drying. I'll put the lid back on my rubbing alcohol, what we also call it. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got some mixture of shine juice, which is mixture of select, denatured alcohol, and burn uh, boiled on seed, linseed oil. And uh, shine juice recipes all over the place. But that's what I use here on this one. We're gonna see how that does. And uh, get another towel, be right back. We'll let that dry, let make sure there's no uh, wet spots on there.
Here we can see my one inch thick or one and a quarter, whatever you want to make it. And I got my wood. And I took a piece of cardboard and made me a pattern that I wanted. Measured out, of course, the height of the, your, uh, your handle. And you can go to the website. You can go Google it on uh, mug handles and find all kind of patterns for different shapes that you want or you can make your own. I laid out a dimension. I just made my own. And then I uh, sketched it out to try to make it symmetrical as I could. And then I try, then I'm ready to cut it out of cardboard and I'm ready to trace it on my pattern here. So we're gonna get started and do that. And then simply take uh, take the jigsaw to it and cut it out. And I'll cut it out a little big on the saw and then uh, let the sander uh, do the rest of it. And uh, we can we can do a little routing on it and do whatever you want to do to get the corners uh, shaped off. But uh, I just traced my, made a cardboard pattern and and uh, and there it is. It's ready to cut out and uh, then we will get it properly fitted. So let's uh, be sure you don't forget to kind of compensate for the bevel in your piece. So I cut that taper there and uh, mine is gonna go from the ring up at the top all the way to the bottom of the bottom ring. And that gives you plenty of room, you can see for the fingers to go in the handle and uh, a nice a nice fit right there. Right here, I'm going to show you where I took a Dremel tool and I fit around where this handle is going to fit. It will go right in there and right in there. So here we have it. Final stage is to get the, the tight bone glue after it's fitted up there and you see it's glued on. We have it drying. Uh, finished the handle first and uh, we're done. As soon as we get that glue dried and we're going to let that set up about oh a couple hours at least before we take the clamps off and then I'll take some um, some more pictures and uh, we're going to have it on a lazy susan for you to look at um, as soon as we're all well and done. Well here we are again uh, finishing up another project and I'd like for you to take a closer look at this. There is the handle and everything assembled you can see I didn't show it, but you can put a, a little dressing on it if you want. A little round uh, bit on a Dremel and put the nail heads in there and uh, round the bottom and top ring. And uh, there you go on the inside. It's too dark in there. I don't think you can see it from this angle. But anyway, there it is. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did... You know what to do. You just leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that. And uh, don't forget, I'll see you in the next video.